do not be fooled because this is a facility that is going to be world class, but is also going to add to our national resilience and capability um, at the front line. And I think there's a lot more thinking within the biosecurity area, which relates to more defence and national security thinking. We're very grateful for the work that you've done here to bring this project, this particular project here today to fruition. Um, it's been quite an achievement. Certainly, I'd also like to thank the staff out here. Uh, this has been going on for about four years. And what we see here today is you know, the final footprint of what has been the redevelopment of the Berrimah farm. It will attract expertise, absolutely. It's a little bit like um, building it and they will come. It absolutely will attract expertise and it will absolutely enhance and encourage innovation in, in the biosecurity sphere. We know that uh, if there is an issue with biosecurity, it can bring an industry to its knees very quickly. And that is why it's important to be proactive, to be on the front line, and to have our world-class scientists here combating any of the issues that could threaten our important industry. So that's why we've invested in Berrima Farm, because agribusiness contributes over a billion dollars to the Northern Territory economy every year. This laboratory here will mean that we have got a Category 3 laboratory when it comes to biosecurity containment. This is the best classification, the highest level of security for all of Northern Australia. And we have this right here in Darwin now. But it's not just what we're opening today. This is part of a broader $44 million redevelopment of this precinct. Uh, we've made sure we've gone through to upgrade and build new accommodation for the staff. Uh, we have upgraded laboratories, we've made sure that we have this new molecular diagnostic laboratory which is the best of its kind for all of Northern Australia.